At least 25% of you now have TVs that connect to the internet, and probably a whole lot more of you watching, and that means streaming Netflix, Hulu, Vudu, HBO Go, and more. But what you may not know though is, many newer devices like the iPhone 5 and Apple TV and many newer notebook computers can take advantage of the far less crowded 5 GHz wireless band. And that means less interference from other devices and less time buffering when watching the latest season of Game of Thrones or that new season of Arrested Development on Netflix. But in order to take advantage of it, you need a home wireless router that also supports dual band, like D-Link's Wireless N750 dual band gigabit router or the DIR836L. It's packed full of features that you're just not going to get from that outdated router that you may have at home. So let me show you how to get started with the DIR836L. The Wireless N750 dual band gigabit router provides wireless speeds up to 750 megabits per second and comes fully equipped with a high powered amplifier to cover even the hardest to reach areas of your home and everything you need comes in the box. To start, you have the quick install guide and warranty information, the DIR836L dual band router, on the front, the power and internet LEDs, on the back, a USB share port, WPS, four gigabit LAN ports, internet port, power button, and the power connector. And since the router is pre-configured with security, a sticker on top provides the wireless SSID and network key. It also comes with an ethernet cable, the power adapter, and a handy wireless configuration card also with the wireless SSID and network key on it. Now, with a router, power adapter, and ethernet cable in hand, head over to your broadband modem and start by plugging in the power adapter to a wall outlet nearby and connect it to the back of the router. Next, take the ethernet cable and connect one end to the yellow internet port on the back of the router. Then, go ahead and power on the device and connect the other end of the ethernet cable to the internet port on the back of the modem. Now grab the wireless configuration card that came in the box and head over to your computer and let's connect it to the DIR836L. Start by connecting to either wireless network listed on the card. If your device only sees one, it may not be compatible with dual band and connect to the one you do see. And each time a new device connects, the first time you'll be prompted for the network password, also listed on the card. After you're connected, open up a web browser and the first time you'll be automatically directed to the setup wizard. If you're not, enter 192.168.0.1 in the address bar. Follow the prompts. You can change the wireless network name for each band and the password or keep it the same. Also, set the router password for administrator access. Then, continue to follow the prompts until you reach the MyDLink registration page. You can easily create a MyDLink account with just your name, email, and password. Or, if you already have one, enter it here. And once you do, your DIR836L router will be linked with your MyDLink account where you can log in to the MyDLink.com website and remotely manage your new router, block devices connected to your network, change router settings, or even view web history for each device. So if you're serious about streaming HD video or you're one of those cable cutters that we hear about, there's no choice here. You need dual band. A D-Link's DIR836L is fast and packed full of features that you're just not gonna get from the router that came with your ISP. It's easy to set up and great for gaming too. What else could you want from a device that's in control of all your wireless devices in your house? Thanks for watching.